gives here from attempt, attempt employment, attempt education, and attempt publishing. There are seven tips that I can share with you to survive a pandemic. Obviously, S stands for saving lives. You need to make sure you're doing all the right thing, uh, washing your hands thoroughly, and obviously self-isolating, doing all the right things, and following what uh, the governments are telling you to do, because there's a reason for that. U stands for, for the second tip, is to understand it is not your fault. If you have lost your job, you're one of the millions of people who have lost jobs, understand that it is not because of your actions, it is because of this thing that's happening right now. And R, the third tip that I can share with you, is to relax and enjoy your time being by yourself or self-isolating. And think of the good things, think of the silver lining, think of what you can do that actually you've always asked or thinking about doing uh, when you were working full time and you never had time to do. It's just enjoy and relax, just relax and enjoy your free time, okay? So I know obviously there's so many people upset about it, but then there's not, it's not something that you can do about it. So it's obviously, R stands for relaxing and enjoying your self-isolation. The fourth thing or fourth tip is to value your free time. You need to put value into it. You don't want to just keep saying and wishing your life away, saying, oh, I wish this whole thing will be finished. Um, I can't wait in six months' time, everything will be back to normal. But the thing is, it's never going to be going back to normal. This will change in the way that we deal with the world and the way we do the systems that we um, uh, been been doing before will never longer work uh, this is the new world that we were in now so hopefully we can think about this as a blessing in disguise for the planet and to improve what we're doing okay buying the way that we live our lives would be much better post pandemic so i i stands for inventory of skills obviously you need to think about what you have learn the current job that you have been doing uh, if you've lost it well then there's always a way to think of the things that you have been doing and doing some self-reflection it's very important so that you could uh, think about all the good things that you have learned all the ways to make you a more valuable employee it gives you the edge so V stands for venting you know, no one can tell you not to vent. It's really important for every person. You can do and vent. I'm doing venting right now. I can actually let go of the things that I'm worried about by talking to you and sharing and staying positive. You can vent as much as you can. And it is your right to do that. And let it all out so that everything that remains is hope. Okay, so E. E is the most important thing. So we're talking about survive right so seven tips seven tips s-u-r-v-i-v -E. e stands for educating yourself there are so many free courses if you've always wanted to learn how to do html css well then do that it gives you the edge whereas so many people don't have these skills if you always wanted to do data analysis be a data scientist being being able to learn how to do that gives you the edge amongst millions of people who are out of work and all thinking of getting one. So obviously another one is uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money if you are out of cash at the moment. There are so many different free courses that are available and go ahead and do that. Okay, so that's it. My seven skills, my seven tips to survive a pandemic. Now remember, uh, attempt can help you redesign your resume if you are hoping to do that the link is down down below if you need help with uh, redesigning your resume to become more competitive amongst and to stay um, stand out from the rest thank you and goodbye